guys welcome back to the show so today I'll be teaching you how to set up PyTest for your Python application basically how to test your Python application and how to basically use PyTest because some people do have difficulties um, testing Python applications with, Py with PyTest and I would like to make it easier for you and show you all the tricks um, involved in setting up Python application with PyTest we are going to make a simple greeting application and basically tdd that greeting application um, by setting up um, pytest and then um, and then basically testing it um, so um, as you can see over here um, ls um, i've got nothing over there so i'll create up a virtual environment so when i say a virtual environment i mean environment where i can a clean environment is like i'm creating a new world um, where i can install pytest and I, I can install the python version that i want um, and through this we can we can we can basically you know um, build our application so um, I'll say virtual EMV I'll say Python 3 all right let's say test EMV um, you need to know that if you don't have a virtual EMV installed in your Mac or on your computer this is not gonna work and um, I'll put a link in the description to show you how to use virtual EMV basically it is used to create an environment where you have all the dependencies needed for your application installed in there so you do not pollute your global your global environment basically that's what virtual EMV is there for now I need to activate it right so I will say source test EMV which is this one and bin then act activate okay so it's activated as you can see you've got the test EMV over here um, so now I've got like a test environment no I've got like an environment a new world um, and there isn't anything in the world well you can see there are some few things but there isn't you know pip and um, setup two and wheel um, so right now what I need to do is to install um, PyTest so I'll say pip install PyTest. Okay, so I've installed PyTest. Let me clear things out. Oops, I go back to pip list. Now you can see that I've got PyTest installed over here. So what I'm going to do next is to create um, a directory called greeting, and inside of the greeting directory, I'll create a lib. Um, so you can see I'll create a directory mkdir. I'll create a directory called greeting. Oops, I cannot spell. All right, I will ls cd into greeting. Okay, then I'll create um, two directories. So I'll create a lib directory and a test directory. Okay, so I'm going to have the application inside of the lib directory and then I'll have my test inside of the test directory now I'll show you something that happens when you um, when you try to run your test like this like in, the, in this manner what happens basically um, so um, let me open the application over here so code open so I've got my greeting I've got lib and I've got that over here right so what I'm gonna do is that inside of the lib directory i'll create like a greeting file okay so touch um so inside of my lib i'll create a greeting um the py file okay so you see i've got a group a greeting the py file and i'll create um, a test file over here as well okay inside of my test um so touch so inside of the test directory I'll create test underscore greeting dot py file okay so you can see I've got that over here as well so we will just make a simple application um, it's just a simple one and then we will try um, testing that as well so um, inside of the greetings um, application um, let's just let's write something okay let's just write something and then we'll go from there on how to set up PyTest with Python so basically I will define 
a greeting function um, I will say it will take in the name which is type of string and then it will return a string okay basically that is what I want and um, I will say hello to the name okay so I will have like an F over here and I'll say hello um, name that is very simple that is very basic Python and um, we will try and test this the most important thing about this tutorial is how to set up PyTest for your Python application as it stands right now if I run PyTest over here okay there isn't anything in here okay so let me go into my test first of all let's import PyTest import um, Py PyTest, I've got PyTest here, then I'll say import um, from lib, which is the name of this directory, right? Dot greeting import. I want to import this greeting, okay? I want to import that. So I will import this over here, okay? Now, if I run PyTest again, see, I get an error saying that uh, module not found error, so it cannot find the module lib, right? Um, there are two ways to solve this. One is by creating in your root directory a conftest.py file, and that will solve the issue. So if I do an ls over here, all right, and I do touch, conf test py file um, then I run pipe test again now you can see that the issue has been solved um, so what the conf test py does is that it allows Python to find your lib directory basically that's what it does and it has um, functionalities as well which is very advanced and I will not cover that in this tutorial but if you want me to cover that let me know um, and I can do certainly do that so that has been solved right that is one of the problems that people do have when they're trying to set up tests with PyTest they are not able to resolve um, this error and they get really frustrated but that has been solved okay so and we can now write our test and say that class um, class I call it test underscore greeting okay um, and I'll define um, tests that I'll call it greet um, it takes self okay what I want to test is that what I would like to test is this greeting uh, method over here so I'll create um, a variable called greet which is greeting then I'll pass it a name called Chris okay and then what I can do now is that I can assert that that greet is equal to let's say um, hello um, Chris okay so I can say hello um, Chris I need to return um, I need to return this okay so now when I run the test again um, you can see that the test is passing over here and um, it's all green let me clear things out and let me run it again now the test is passing um, so that is one way of solving that error that is creating a conf test.py file in your root directory the other way of solving this error is to um, make this test directory and the lib directory making the modules what do I mean by modules so if you know a little bit of Python, let me get rid of this. So delete that. Um, let me show you that if I run the test again, the test will fail because it says um, it says that module not found error. Now um, let me show you how to f the second method or the second way to fix this error. Um, so inside of my lib directory, um, I will create a dunder in it. 
pi file then inside of my test directory I'll create a dunder init .py file so basically I'm making this lib directory a package that I'm making the um, the test directory a package so that I can import um, from them so now if I do run the test again you can see that it's passing so this is just like a basic introduction um, into how to set up um, PyTest for your Python application if you want more advanced tutorial let me know and I can um, I can certainly teach you guys how to how to basically use PyTest to test your Python application um, that's it for me and thank you guys for watching